Welcome back to another episode of Reincarnate as a Sword. Last episode, we got the introduction of probably one of the most based guild adventurer secretaries. So usually in Isekai shows, there's always, you know, the office lady, the main person that greets everybody. We have Nell in this show, and goddamn, she kind of let it slip, but she kind of said, I hope they'd all drop dead. I hope that she'd all, they'd all, they'd all drop dead. And then she's like, oh, I, I gotta be careful. I can't let it slip. But then she did let it slip during the actual heat of the moment when she actually fought, in, fought for a friend, right? So... I think she has pretty good intentions. I think her character is really good because everybody looks down on the black cat for because they just can't evolve. So everybody just races towards them. It's just kind of like a it's kind of extreme, but it is what it is. Nell doesn't discriminate. Nell seems to be on our side. I'm glad that we have such a funny character. Fran doesn't also fuck around. She just cut that guy's he just she just cut that guy's ankles off and also beat everybody else and became a sword mage. And while we were leaving, it seems like there was a dwarf guy that kind of noticed. He did some kind of eyesight on her sword and decided, oh, you can't deceive me. So, again, probably going to be like a character that's going to be a uh, blacksmith. We already have a weapon, so it's probably going to be offering us armor. And we're going to get more upgrades. So, without further ado, let's begin today's episode. A highly skilled blacksmith that already has his eyesight. There he is. Kind of looks like he has pink eye on his other eye, you know. I'm here to give you armor. Oh, he's a blocked. Oh. Super OP NPC? Probably. I mean, it has to be, unless it's fake under somebody completely different. I doubt that. Of course, we should go. I'm sure he's gonna be a nice guy. Dude, all the dwarves in the like, Isekai show, they're so good. They're so kind. They just always hate elves. Aww. Yes, good job. First of many, maybe? Hmm? Everything. Don't worry about it. You're only comparing the attack. And again, they keep reiterating the fact that, you know, the attack is similar. The attack is similar even though he farms so much. No, it's about his magic skills because we're a sword mage. So that's how we differentiate. What is an intelligence weapon? Be careful. <laughs> that's not much of a poker face when you'd be like, <laughs> the jump backwards. <laughs> The arcane blacksmith. No, he's got the ability of the pink eye, though. That pink eye allows him to praise anything. I'm sure he's. I'm sure he's. Con I'm like, he's not hostile. Yes, it's not just about the attack. No, 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 no. It's not about the attack. What about the magic? Also, you're talking. Yeah, you're talking. Well, I, I, I guess. The secret's out. 100 mana into the sword and wield it. Does the attack go up? Does it scale up if you imbue mana to it? Check your attack right now. hundred percent connectivity. Ah. Uh, I thought it'd be two times, it'd be like 800, but it only goes by 200. Okay, okay, okay. And... Our attack just keeps scaling up, depending on if he can rank his like mana connectivity up from A to like, I'm sure like S. Also, we just put more mana in. <laughs> oh, it's so wholesome. This is like daddy-daughter relationship, man. This is so cute. Uh, I'm from... His name is Teacher. <laughs> Where did you get it from, though? Maybe... I think we're past the legendary weapon. This gotta be more, right? Nah, it's gotta be even more, man. Oh, Sword of Flames. Looks pretty OP. No, I bet we are beyond the Legendary Sword. Because in the beginning, when we first landed here, there was some voice that's like, Oh, you're finally awake. Well, good luck, then bye! And he just left. And it's like, what? You need to change your underwear. No, no, you should, you should change his daily hygiene. Unsightly of an adorable? Huh? I, she was just over here. <laughs> oh my god. I thought she'd be racist and be like... Alright, fine, go on. Hey, 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 relax, you relax. She's like 12, but... She really would just go with the regular pair, but... I thought she'd be like racist and be like... No black cats allowed here or something. But no, she was like, huh? Someone like you? No, you gotta come in here. Oh, she's so cute. Literally put her in anything and she's fine, right? Alright. Is it a nice room? Pretty decent, pretty decent. Why? Is this, this is her first room ever? <gasps> Aww. 
Well, it's okay, but to her, obviously, compared to her, like, previous, like, living standards. Aww. And it's just, like, a little average room, too. Aww. She's got her own bed. You know, this show can be so wholesome. I'm just, you know, just spoiling Fran. It's not even spoiling her, just giving her basic needs. And she's so happy about it. Please keep making her happy. Yes, we'll get luxury sweets in due time. I need to protect her forever! Until the day you evolve. What about after, though? Hmm. I wonder about that. Was he? I think it's just a coincidence that you guys met, but we really have to talk about that guy in the beginning who just said, Oh, you're awake. Goodbye now. Good luck, lol. Just made a bunch of fried food. That looks pretty good. I guess, do they, the concept of fried foods, does it exist back here? What if we're just like blowing people away, like, does curry exist, like the concept of curry exists here yet? You're boring her. No, she's just tired. Aw, tuck her in now. I want to become stronger with, with teacher. Now tuck her in. Oh. Tell about the arms once more, but. Oh, this is so wholesome. Good night. Oh. This is where we're gonna go farm monsters. Where's this? It looks like a pretty big beast, but I'm. Are these the goblins? Yo, are these goblins kind of like evolving? The f Do they always look that big? Wait a minute. Yo, those goblins look diff now. <laughs> she looks kind of bored. She looks pretty bored with this. Ah, this is not the most exciting part of the adventuring, I guess. Ah, foraging. Honestly, in like MMOs too, like foraging like this, eh, it's not the funniest. It's like not the fun part. You want to just like attack and like fight shit, but life skills, yeah. Did we save these guys before or are they new adventurers? Alright, let's see your last attack. Was he gonna use fire air? It's when we just kind of just casually... No, no, that wasn't me. I'm just casually the fire arrow. All right, let's do it. A kid that's about to save you. What's burning? What's burning? <laughs> it is a comedy is actually pretty good too. Like, <laughs> it's kind of like out of nowhere. It's like. What? Aura blade? You show me your like sword maid stuff. Are you sure? You're, I mean, we're a sword maids. I get it. We're a sword maids, but like, well, I have a sword. We might as well have a staff. Well, that's the whole point of a sword maid. So you can go on the offensive with magic and with her weapon. Easy. I wonder what rank adventure she is. That I forgot in the last episode. Level 4 now. Yeah. The system's voice. When Fran levels up, can she allocate her points as well? Or is that different compared to... Not bad. But like compared to like, let's say when teacher levels up, he's got like his own evo points to allocate. G. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, G. Oh my, I thought E was the fucking lowest. Bye bye. Ah, it's too low tier. You guys can take it. Uh, is it even worth anything? Uh, okay. How think? How nice of them. They're not racist. Goblin stampede. All right, we're going goblin slayer style, huh? No, explain to us. Yeah. The goblin king. Haven't seen him just yet. I saw like a magic goblin though. Goblin queen? And then do they have a kid? The queen and the king has like hobgoblins and hob and gob and hob and gob and gob and hob and... Jesus, they reproduce fast. Let's go take out the nest. Alarm sounds? It's fine. I mean, they're pretty easy to take care of. No, you're fine. You saw us. You saw us. She can detect them too. Give what a try. 
What's she gonna do? Also, this is good leveling for us too. Okay. I mean, this is just like farming for us. There's no actual danger. Unless we get to the den, maybe. And even at the end of the day, teacher can just bail us out. So it's like, there's not much of a threat. It's just friend leveling. We were just level four. Okay. This is a good EXP, man. Let's keep farming. Call more of them over. Can we use healing to recover our stamina? Or is that just for physical injuries? Block. Kinda getting overwhelmed, but it's fine, because teachers are too. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Yeah, these goblins are... Not dumb. Stop throwing rocks at us! Oh. Yo! No, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, but that was narrow. Because I need to evolve. I will never back down. This is some main character vibes right now. Show me what you got, Fred. Ooh, I will never back down! Is that the episode already? Damn, kind of got baited by the ending of Fran. Like, I will never give up! And then I thought it'd be some kind of triumphant, like, montage of Fran taking out the goblins. But I, we know she's gonna be fine. I was like, oh, I thought they were gonna at least show us. But it's nice to see that Fran has, you know, all the convictions of a main character, a protagonist. Even though, I guess, the sword is the protagonist. You know, Fran has that desire to evolve. And she's going to evolve in this season. Eh, we'll see. We'll see, I guess. I guess the most important thing in this episode is that... We got our armor, we got fresh underwear, we got cooking supplies, and we're just leveling up. We're just kind of slowly prepping, and there's this one main danger of a goblin stampede that might show up. Maybe we can just dispose of it at, like in the den immediately before it even shows up, but it's going to be interesting. I want to see the villagers, though, not just like these adventurers, but like everybody witness the legend of the black cat so that they don't look down on us and in fact maybe they will start respecting us right i hope there's some kind of incident like that where big danger everybody's in trouble but then there's fran <laughs> the g rank adventure shows up she's gotta get her rank figured out too right it's gotta go up come on g rank like i mean we gotta start at the bottom right we gotta start at the bottom anyways if you stick around this long and if you enjoyed my reaction you already know what i'm gonna say check out the other videos and playlists in my channel if you watch another video immediately after this one it helps youtube i'll go push that my small channel to recommend this one that i have a chance to compete with some of your favorite reactors until next time guys take care